Hello, welcome to another Specialist Components video and today we're going to be talking about our S-Pack engine which is, um, S stands for a supercharger pack so it's based on a MPI blocking cylinder head and as far as we know it's the first commercially available blow through AFI system there has ever been for the A-Series which seems crazy, we've been around for so long but we're the first to do it, we've been meaning to do it for loads of years um, because it gives you the control through the injection system, the control by using the MPI um, trigger wheel kit, and it basically means we can run the engine like a normally aspirated engine, but add boost to it, and it responds like a big normally aspirated engine. Very safe and very powerful, very drivable. So we get asked a lot of questions of why do we use the MPI block and head, and it's very simple. In this. This system packages in a round nose mini or a club min or an MPI or any mini without any body modifications at all. It's, it's the neatest way of doing it. It's the most robust way of doing it. And at the end of the day, if you're going to build a supercharged engine like this, you're going to be doing work to your block, your crank, your head and everything anyway. So you can always carry over all of the A plus parts into the MPI donor castings if you have some nice stuff already. But basically we've done it because it packages fantastically. We popped up a Rotrex C15 series really close to the block. It's literally millimetres away from the block at the back. It's tucked right under the alternator. It'll sit under the front panel. Uh, some customers have fitted front mount radiators in with this system, but we'd uh, advise a side mount and then using a front mount intercooler. The drive system, we've got a bit, a bit, a billet um, timing case with a, a it's a, it's a very um, substantially machined part at the back, very, very strong with an extension piece on the whole of all tracks. An idler system which acts as um, the, uh, the wrap on the supercharger belt. MPI alternator in the standard MPI position, but it now acts as a tensioner. So you tension the belt through the alternator. It is just ultra compact, it works, it packages much better than trying to do this with an enablers block by far. That's why we do it with an MPI block. It all packages, it all works, it's compact, it's reliable, and it does exactly what we want to do. So talking specifications, we always run between 10, 10 to 1 and 10.2 to 1. There's no decompression plates in this cylinder head. It's all completely normal, normally aspirated tuning cylinder head, or, or super sport head. We run 36, 31, one piece stainless valves. It's gas flow to suit the charger application. So it's 10 to one, 10, between 10.0 and 10.2 to one compression ratio. We always base them on 1293 or 1310 CC because you don't need the capacity when you've got boost available. Um, we use Omega cast pistons. We typically use on this spec of engine, which is 150 horsepower. We use standard con rods with uh, resized big ends, ARP rod bolts, or a uh, reworked standard tough crankshaft system but it's very normally aspirated tuned. This, what, this engine is running a Swifty SW5 which is a 260 degree camshaft. Um, so looking a bit more at the system itself, we've got a little supercharger here. This is the inlet pipe. We supply an air filter which sits on this side of it. Uh, so this compresses the, the air on a 9 to 1 ratio um, fluid driven gearbox system which means you get boost with revs. So at very low RPM, you've got very low boost, and you gear the system via the, um, the pulley system on the crankshaft to give you the desired boost at the RPM you've got to run the engine to to suit the camshaft and head. So this kit, in its, in its entirety, will support anything from 100 to about 220 horsepower, with all the hardware the same, with just the change of camshaft. Um, you've obviously then got like a gearbox and your flywheels and things, but the kit that we supply will support between 100 and 220 horsepower. So like I said, this one is running an SW5 camshaft, 260 degrees. It's got 1.4 rockers, so quite low ratio of forged rockers in it. Um, we'll put a dyno curve, this, this engine literally just come off the dyno. We'll put a dyno curve um, up with a dyno video, and we'll also put a boost curve up so you can see the boost with revs situation. Uh, but effectively we're running at 6,500 RPM, we're running 0.7 um, bar of boost. So a little over 7, 8 PSI, and it's making bang on 150 horsepower corrected. Um, very drivable, really streetable, really soft, builds the torque very gently, um, which is why we designed it with a, with a road track system, because of our experience on 16 valve engines, is that it builds the torque gently, so it's really kind to the gearbox and the flywheel. So you don't have massive 
spikes of torque which can affect the um, the gearbox durability. It's super drivable, super usable. We designed them to do what they're meant to do. Um, but it means that if you want to start with 150 horsepower and build up to a monster 200, 220 horsepower plus, you, the kit is all the same. You can then just upgrade your engine, upgrade the camshaft, and go from there. The throttle body is our throttle body system that is uh, used on everything from carburetor cars to MPI cars, not just with supercharger systems. In this case, we always use a 50 millimeter part. It comes on this application, it's got 440cc injectors, which are enough for 155 horsepower. It comes with an inlet stub. So what, what you do is the, um, the boost pipe from the charger goes through the intercooler, direct from the intercooler into the throttle body. There's no need for a plenum or any strange plumbing. It's very simple to plumb, very direct. Uh, there's a boost reference here for a blower valve, so you don't install the impeller when you shut the throttle. Easy to install, so this system fits in a Mini like any carburetor would fit. It'll fit in any car, from a Mini pickup to a Mark 1 Cooper S to anything you want to have to modify the car. And like I said, there's no decompression plates. We run probably 32 degrees of ignition advance in it, even when it's boosted. Um, and it's just dry, so it drives like normally aspirated car until you get into boost, and then it's very powerful. But check out dyno videos, check out the curve. If you've got any questions, hopefully that's answered. But drop some questions below, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.